Hi, welcome to today's lesson and in today's lesson we are looking at measures of central tendency. At the end of this lesson you should be able to explain the meaning of the phrase measure of central tendency and you should be able to list the three most common measures of central tendency and here we are looking at the mean, the mod and the median. And uh, we will conclude the topic by uh, calculating the mean, the mode, and the median. So by the time we are done with the lesson, you should be able to calculate uh, the mean, the mode, and the median. Let us get started. What does the term measure of central tendency mean? Uh, measure of central tendency, this is a, a central value or a number uh, from a data set. So you may have a list of numbers, it could be 2, 3, 6, 7. Now that value which appears in the center of that list, you call that the measure of central tendency. In other words, the central figure or the central value. Now there are three common measures of central tendency, so uh, there are different types but uh, for this lesson we're going to look at three and that is uh, the mean, the mode and the median. Let us look at uh, each one of these. We shall start with the mean. Now, mean is calculated by uh, adding up all the values in a given list or in a data set and dividing the total number, the total, you know, by the number of values. Uh, let me say that again. The mean is calculated by adding up all the values and then dividing the total, the total that you get after you added up the values, you divide it by how many those values are. So, um, by the way, you need to know that uh, mean is also sometimes referred to as average. So if in an exam they ask you to calculate the mean, uh, you know they're asking you to find the average. So sometimes they may use the word mean or they may uh, uh, use the word average. So now let us look at this example. Uh, in a grade 7 class, let's say the class where you are, in a grade 7 class uh, there are 10 pupils and the following are their ages. So John is 12 years old, Peter is 13 years old, Kennedy is 12 years old, Jaffet is 12 years old, Chola is 13 years old, Alfred is 11 years old, Mary is 12 years old, Jen is 12 years old, Grace is 13 years old, and Ben is 12 years old. Now you can see um, this is a long list and out of this list there are certain um, numbers which keep appearing, so others are more frequent, others are less frequent. So when we want to find the mean, we want to uh, to find the average. Average means what figure is frequent or is... Okay, so altogether we have 10 numbers, okay? We have 10 numbers in this uh, list and what we want to find is the mean, okay, or the average. So now, let us see how we can do this. Uh, you calculate the average um, by following the, the, the following three steps. Step one, you need to add all the values of the edges. So the edges we have are 12, 13, 11, yeah, th 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 those were the numbers which were in the list. Now we need to list all of them, whether there are some numbers are repeating or not, as long as a number was stated, you need to add all of them. So if we 
add all the numbers what we have is 12 plus 13 plus 12 plus 12 plus 13 plus 11 plus 12 plus 12 plus 13 plus 12 and when you add all these you can try to do it uh, on a piece of paper when you add all these the total should be 122 so step two you need to count the number of values that you added so let us count how many were they one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so there are ten numbers in the list and step three you need to divide the total that you had found in step one what was the total it was this figure here 122 so now you divide 122 by the number of values. What's the total number of values? We counted, they are 10. So to find the average, you take 122 divided by 10, and the result is 12.2. Uh, I take it that you know how to, uh, to do division, okay? So the mean is 12.2. Okay, um, let us look at this exercise. The amount paid to daily employees from Monday to Friday is as follows. So you have one person gets 60, another person gets 40 kwacha, another one 20 kwacha, 40 kwacha, 30 kwacha. So now you want to find what is the average or what is the mean of these amounts which these employees get paid. So again, you follow through the steps that we are from explaining first you need to add up all these numbers that will be 60 plus 40 plus 20 plus 40 plus 30. step number two count the number of values that you just added how many are they one two three four five so whatever total you find which is 190 divided by five and the answer you get is 38 so that is your mean okay um, let us move on to the mod the mod is the value that occurs most often in a data set this means that the value has the highest frequency so for example if we go back and look at uh, these numbers we had here you can see that 12 appears a lot of times it is the one which appears most frequently in other words 12 has the highest frequency so that means in this list if we were calculating the mod the mod uh, will be 12. so now let us go to the mod the mod is the value that occurs most often in a data set this means that the value has the highest frequency now let us look uh, um, oh, uh, we actually had the example reproduced right here, so we didn't need to go back to the slide. So, um, so now let us look at the mod. The mod is the value that occurs most often in a data set. This means that the value has the highest frequency. And so let us look at uh, the uh, example we had looked at earlier if we were uh, uh, if we wanted to find the, the mod all we would do is we look at the edge which keeps occurring the one which keeps appearing and if you look at this list you notice that 12 appears a lot of times that means 12 has the highest frequency and so 12 is the mod okay now let us look at uh, the last one and this is known as the median the median is the middle value after all the values have been arranged in ascending or descending order so if you're going to calculate the median you first if the numbers are not in order you arrange them in order and this order can be either ascending or descending 
Ascending order means you list the numbers starting with the smallest and ending with the biggest number. Descending order means you are descending, you are starting from the biggest number and you end with the smallest in the list. So here is a simple example. Find the median of the following data sets. So let us look at the first list here, 4375216. Later on, we'll also try to find the median for 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 10. Okay, let us start with the first one, the first list, uh, which is 4375216. Now, step one, we said we should first arrange the values. If you look at this, they're not in order. So we're going to arrange this, we're going to reorder it uh, in ascending order, meaning we'll start with the smallest figure, which is 1, and when we do that, it will end up like this. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, what is the middle value? So, if we move two steps from here to there, and again from this end from here to there, again if we move to the third value here, here we move to the third value, you're going to end up with 4, being on the center. So the middle value is 4 and therefore 4 is the median. Now here is a tricky one. Uh, the second list here, finding the median for this list 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 10. Okay, now remember the rule, the first step, arrange them in order. Now if you look at this, it is already uh, in order, it, it is already in ascending order. So now we need to find the middle value. In step two. So which one is the middle value? Okay, so if we move one step here and one step there, when we move one step here, one step there, you'll notice that we are finding two numbers which are in the middle here, which are in the center, six and nine. So what do we do? It is simple. You add the two numbers like we have done here, six plus nine, and the result you get divided by 2. So you are finding an average there. So you are adding the two numbers and then you divide them by 2. And the result it will give you is 7.5. And that's the end of the lesson. But you now need to go on the learning management system, log in, and do the exam practice exercise. Uh, uh, the, the, there are a number of questions you've been given there just to test you if you've really understood um, uh, the concepts we are from explaining. In case you've forgotten something, this is a video, you can pause, you can rewind, you can play it again so that you fully understand and so that at the end of the month when you will write your monthly um, uh, exam practice uh, mock exams, uh, uh, you, you stand a better chance of uh, uh, beating the other students so that you get your, 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 your monthly prize. So try to revise as much as you can so that uh, you get the highest score and so that you can receive your beautiful prize. See you in the next lesson.